to make a wet mount slide with Scientist Cindy. Hi, I'm Scientist Cindy. I'm going to show you how to make a wet mount slide. Before we get started, there are some things you should know first. There are two types of wet mount preparations. The normal everyday wet mount method and the hanging drop method. Wet mounts are used when you need or want to visualize a living microorganism. For example, in order to determine if an organism is motile, the wet mount method should be used. Wet mounts need special care so you don't kill your microorganism. Microorganisms die if heated, so we do not heat fix these slides. Microorganisms die if exposed to stains, so we don't stain these slides. Bright lights can dry out wet mounts and heat up microorganisms, so work quickly under dim light. Method number one, the normal everyday wet mount slide. Here's what you'll need for your wet mount slide. One regular slide, one cover slip, one disposable pipette, and if you'll need your microorganisms. Next, gently squeeze the pipette bowl to draw the sample into the pipette. Then, you'll place about three to five drops in the center of the slide. Last, gently place your cover slip on top, and you're done. Method number two, the hanging drop method. First, get a depression slide. Don't worry, depression slides aren't sad. They just have a little well to hold more water for your specimen. Next, gather your materials. You will need one cover slip, one depression slide, one toothpick, some Vaseline or petroleum jelly, and some paper towels to keep your area clean. Lay out your paper towels, then Use your toothpick to place one small dab of Vaseline or petroleum jelly on each of the four corners of your cover slip. Use a disposable pipette or eyedropper to place a small amount of your microorganisms on the center of your cover slip. Then, Take your slide and flip it upside down. Gently place the slide on top of the cover slip. There's no need to push. When you are ready, flip the slide back over right side up and view on your microscope. Let's compare the traditional wet mount method with the hanging drop method. The traditional method uses normal slides, whereas the hanging drop method uses depression slides. A small sample size is okay when using the normal wet mount method. When using the hanging drop method, larger sample sizes must be used. The traditional wet mount method is only good for short-term use whereas the hanging drop method 
is okay for longer term use. The hanging drop method allows your friendly microbes room to move around. This means the hanging drop method allows us to distinguish true motility from Brownian motion. On the wet mount or hanging drop slides, there are actually two types of movement, Brownian motion and true motility. Brownian motion is due to the random movement of particles. It is caused by molecules of the liquid colliding with the organism. This would not be considered true motility because even if the organisms were not alive or if it was not even an organism at all, you would see that same motion. Have fun, stay safe, and say hi to Mike the Microbe for me. Thank you for watching.